Hey, what's up everybody? It's Intimidation and uh, showing you my Formica nest at the moment. I just uh, just fed them some honey and uh, they found it within a few seconds and uh, seven workers are partaking in the little droplet I gave them and uh, yeah they really like they really like their foraging area. Every time I look in here, there's probably about three minimum L looking around in here. Things. Um, there's another worker. Ooh, honey! Yay! Woot. Anyway, over here is their midden pile. Various insect legs. And there's some termite wings. I fed them some late termites at one point. Um, in the very corner, there's like just an extremely finely chopped beetle. I mean, there's the leg, and in the very corner is like the whole body. They seem to like that beetle a lot. And every so often, they just drop off. A random piece of insect part just anywhere in the forging area, but they tend to use that corner. And here comes another worker. I don't know if you can make this out or not, but in the very center of the camera right now is a very, very pale callow worker that just recently closed. I just, uh, I've had five new workers in the last day or so, I would say, and they just, their larvae just keep uh, going into the pupa stage and replacing the ones that hatch, so... It doesn't. Look, the pupa pile never gets any lower. Just you know, somebody will, somebody will, somebody will eat clothes, and then, and then a uh, large larva will take the place of it. You know, change into a pupa. But I've got about thirty-one ants, thirty-one workers, not including the queen. There's the there's the pale calla there walking now. And, uh, I have some strange behavior to report. I don't, I don't really, I, I watch them a lot, you know, and I see what they, I, I watch what they do, and there's, yeah, I'll give you an example of what I've seen. Like, there's a worker in the forging area, and she just hangs out out there. She hangs out all, like, watches over all the little midden, all the little pieces of insect and midden pile, and then what she'll do is she'll get really excited, run around in tight little circles, and attack these old pieces of insect. Just randomly. She'll just, and she'll, she'll bite it and then go, oh wait, okay, this is old, and then stop. Look around, constantly has her jaws open. And, uh, sometimes she'll even drag back, uh, old pieces of insect that they've already eaten. And they'll munch on it some more, and then she'll take it back again. She'll take it right back out to the min she'll take it out to the min pile and drop it off again, you know. But uh, one particular worker does that, so it's pretty it's pretty interesting. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of new workers. As you can see here, I just feed, feed them straight honey. Since I have such a big foraging area, it's not I'm not really worried about them drowning. I mean, if I had them in a test tube, and I put this blob of honey in there, there's nowhere for them to really go other than into the honey. And uh, there's more of a risk of drowning. But uh, they, they're pretty good about taking care of themselves. If they think that there's going to be risk involved, they they'll start putting dirt on this. They'll start putting little granules of, of uh, sand. 
and I'll put it on there until the point where it's totally soaked into that that little droplet of honey and they'll drink, they'll actually drink from the saturated sand instead of just the straight honey so yeah, that's food for the adults as you wanna, you won't usually wanna feed your adult ants uh, sweets things of that nature so they have energy and you want to feed your young, if they have bread in the colony, you want to feed them things with protein in it. Like uh, the larvae are pretty much what needs to be fed constantly. So if you ever keep an ants, just keep that in mind. Alright guys, that's it for the update. I'm out.